All right, Fred and I are at Jonal 2024, and we thought we'd give you a little walking tour of Vendor Row. So on the left-hand side, there's Desert Aircraft, JR Propo, AJ, Balsa USA, and National Balsa. So over here, we got got our friends at High Tech. You guys want to say hello to RC Video Reviews? Good morning. Good How's it going, guys? Good. How's the show been? Good? Uh, it's good, man. Getting, uh, got the rain out of the way, and uh, now comes the heat and humidity. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not too bad right now. It feels kind of nice. You know, a thunderstorm or two, and we'll, uh, we'll crown it out the weather <laughs> that uh, we always see. All right. Well, we're doing a little walking tour. It's good to see you guys All again. Right. All right, guys. Check out the channel, soon. RC Video Reviews. Right. See ya. And then there's the Futaba tent. Need a Futaba radio. And they all bring stuff to buy. So if you got money burning a hole in your pocket, you can definitely go through some of it here. <laughs> no doubt. There's the food, food tent. So you can get burgers and hot dogs and drinks and fries, water if you need it. And that's under a nice covered enclosure. So if you need a break from the sun, that's a good place to come and get it. And of course, Extreme Flight is here. I know if you follow my channel, you know all about Extreme Flight. Look at those big muscle bites they have. Aren't they cool? Wait a minute. Look at that. What? That? What is that? Is that here yesterday? No, that's a new scheme, man. Is that? What is that? I don't know what it is. Look, I think it's an extra with a different color scheme. I'm gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go ask. We're gonna have to go ask. I missed it. I missed this one. What is that? That one. The oh, little red that's and white the one. Brand new. We just released that last night. That's the new 67 inch extra NG. Do you have any here? Well, we just showed the first samples last night. Uh -huh. They're gonna be arriving in about 90 days. 90 days. And we have uh, more to show. Oh. So, oh. so here, we, here we have the scale scheme on this side, the, yeah. red, the red and white. Yeah. This is a scale uh, extra NG scheme. And then here we have the wild, shocking fantasy oh, scheme over here. Very cool. Thank What's you. What's your name? My name's Ben Fisher. Oh, Ben, I'm John Hobke. I have RC Video Reviews. Nice to meet oh, you. Oh, yeah, we've met before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You do a good job, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Well, there you go. It was an extra NG, right? 67 yep. inch plug and play. 67 NG. Let's open it up real quick. That's on my list. I have the 78 and I love it. So this is uh, our basic construction method for all of our aircraft. We do single side composite reinforcement on the wood members. Most of the load is taken by pultruded carbon sections in the wings and in uh -huh. the fuselage. It ends up being really strong, really light. We've been doing, a, doing our aerobatic airplanes this way for several years. Um, a good aerobatic airplane should basically be empty. <clears throat> That's how you know that it's light, it's right. It should basically be empty. Very nice. And that's going to be the T-Motor AM670? AM670, <clears throat> excuse me, with the 116 ESC. For the uh, RXR version, we'll supply the EF Theta 989 servos. Yeah. You can also use a Savox 1261. With the 67s, they have to be the very best mini servos. Yeah. You can't have a cheap mini servo. The 67 will brutalize it. Yeah. No, I've we, got, I've... Uh, we send them out with the 18 by eight uh, hand laid carbon prop. Yep. Perfect, lots of thrust. It's just a perfect little package. That, people, yeah. people always ask me online, they say, why don't you offer, offer a gas engine option on these? No. <laughs> they're perfect. They're light. They're stiff. They're strong. They're light. They're made specifically for this power system. They're optimized. Yeah. If you hang a sing single cylinder gas on there with all the shaking, then we have to upgrade all of the joints, all the latches. It gets heavier and heavier and heavier. This way it's light and right. Nice. I love that 67 inch form factor. 6L5000. It's, yep. the, it's, the, it's the last size for a single battery and they work great with 6L5000. It does. The team guys put a 4,000 in there because, you know, they fly yeah. insane, aggressive. I prefer it with a 5,000. Yeah. It's perfect for me. Yeah. I love them. 67 is a great form factor. I'm really happy you guys come out with those. And the RXR versions, 
Um, I'm not sure if I did a build video on it, but it wouldn't be much of a build video because you're literally like putting a, a spinner on, maybe attaching yeah, landing gear. And, do. Yeah, very not little. You get do. up and run in no you time. You know, the real value for me of the RXRs is the RXR is the best, most complete instructional course for a new pilot to know how a high performance airplane should be set up. If they'll do one RXR, then they can set up their own aircraft from then on because yeah. they'll know exactly how it's supposed to feel, how yeah. it's supposed to look. Yeah. So I love it when guys get started with an RXR and then they know what it's supposed to be. It's just a good system. Well, that's exciting, man. I'm glad to see more 67s. I'm definitely glad to see more RXRs too. That's really good news. Yeah, high Very performance nice. Balsa RXR is where our part of the market is going. Yeah. People always say, how big are, are the RXRs gonna get? Well, if I could ship that as an RXR, which you never know, we might be able to, <laughs> I'm gonna do it because people would like the convenience and we like the idea that we get to check everything over yeah. and know that it's right. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, Ben, thanks for taking the time to explain Amen. it to me. Appreciate it. Thank you. We love your content. Good. Best of luck with the new releases, man. I'm excited. That's all great. Keep them coming. Shall do. All right, take care. Thanks, man. Extreme flight. I love it. Always something new going on in extreme flight. All right, who's up next? Boomerang Jets. Night. If you're into the big stuff, man, those are some some nice looking jets. There's that little Mercedes Benz. Is that? I don't know what that is. I go. I don't know what the model is. It's a it's Bum Viper. Bum Viper. Three thousand dollars for the airframe. Four thousand. Does they? Does that say with the turbine? Forty six hundred with turbine. Forty six hundred with the turbine. There you go. Got a spare forty six hundred laying around. Look at the Blue Angels jet. That's cool. Neat. So there's Boomerang Jets and Buddy RC and OMP Hobby. Got our friend Dan over there from OMP. How's it going, Dan? Hey, what's up, John? All right, well, thanks for letting me know about that guy. Dan, we're just doing a little walking tour of Vendor Row. Oh, How's the MC? Much better day today. Yeah, yeah. nice Sounds out there. Out. Yeah. You got your M7 out, you got the M4. Oh, a yellow one, I, that wasn't here yesterday. The yellow one out, eye chargers all over the place, little M1s, M2s, Radio Master, Sunny Sky Motor. What else could you want? Go to Buddy RC, they got all the good stuff. Yeah. I like those eye chargers too. You can't yeah. go wrong with an eye charger. Now the, the new detail, DX12 came out and they grabbed them fast. Oh, did they? <laughs> They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> yeah. That's a, a powerful charger. Yeah. I love I love mine. My daily charger at the field is an X6. That's what I use every day. My every daily day. charger is at DX8 right there that DX8? Clay's using. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, good to see you. Yeah. We'll be back around a little later. Okay, take care. Take care, Dan. Thank you. All right, there's Buddy RC. All kinds of good stuff. Buddy RC has good equipment. I like their equipment. I like their chargers. I like those Sunny Sky Motors. Love their helicopters at OMP. There's Red Baron Hobbies, so if you need wing bags, propeller, it's like propeller battery bags on the little jewelry there in the corner. Nice. Very nice, helping the missus get along. CH Ignitions, it's like, I see some motors over there. I guess Ignitions if you're into the IC setups. E-Power, all kinds of connectors, man. Adapters galore, extensions, servo extensions. Cool heli, like some generic drone parts and maybe RC toys, so very good. Jen's Tattoo, Tattoo Batteries are here. Ready Made RC all the way on the back side here. They've got the Strix Goblin, I've flown that plane. The planes were designed for the Very nice. Sullivan Products. All kinds of gadgets in the Sullivan Products tent. We've got props and fuel. RC fueling systems. Again, I don't know anything about internal combustion, but if you need it, looks like they got it. Let's see. TAC connector, more connector. Fred and I wandered through there yesterday. They got all kinds, they got- Lots of batteries. Lots too. of batteries, adapters, all kinds of stuff in there. So if you're here flying and you need something, that'd be a place, you have an emergency, you need a XT60 to EC, whatever connector, you get it there probably. Scale RC engines, 
Very cool. We got the radio, mock up radio rings up front. That's nice. Gear jacks. So for strapping stuff down inside your car or your vehicle or on a. I know for the helicopters, they use them to strap their landing gear, the landing skids down in the back of a car if you need to do that or on a wall. So they got skid clamps. Hobby King is here, of course. Got a nice little display going on. They're foamies. Float planes. Mania Lipos, Scorpion ESCs. They got Scorpion Motors and Scorpion ESCs over there. On top of the world, that's a RC community in Florida. I know about that. Warbird models. Big warbirds if you want to get into those. Falcon is here. Pilot RC is here. Pilot RC's got some big stuff in there too. Look at that big thing. Lots of big airplanes at Pilot RC. <laughs> big stuff. And then advanced radio. I don't know anything about advanced radio, but if you use advanced radio, they're here too. And that brings us back to the start. There you go. Walking tour of Vendor Row at Joe Nall 2024. Bring your checkbook, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> You can you can go you can put a dent in it here. That's for sure. There's a happy camper right there. Yeah, somebody got himself an airplane. <laughs> All right. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Later, folks.